In this video, you will learn how to find the average rate of change of a function over a given interval. So how are we going to solve for the average rate of change of a function? Simply, we just have to use the, um, the formula average equals f of b minus f of a over b minus a, where a and b are the values for the interval. Okay. So let's solve some sample problems here. Find the average rate of change of this given function here. y equals x squared minus x plus 1 at interval 0, 3. Okay, using the equation, okay, average is just equal to f of b minus f of a over b minus a. So this is our A and B values. So let's solve for F of B. That would be 3 squared minus 3 plus 1. So this is just 9 minus 3 plus 1. That is 6 plus 1 equals 7. Okay. So F of 7, F of 3 is equals 7. And our f of a, where a is equal to 0, so we just substitute 0 to the equation, minus 0 plus 1, so this is 1. Okay. f of 0 equals 1. And now we can plug in everything to the formula. And we have average equals, f of b is just equal to 7, minus f of a, which is equal to 1, over b minus a. So 3 minus 0. So this is just 6 over 3. Average is just equal to 2. Okay. Let's solve another problem here. Find the average rate of change of this given function here, y equals x squared plus 2 at interval negative 2, negative 3 halves. So that is f of b minus f of a over b minus a. So these are our values, a, b. So, f of b here, where b is equal to 3 halves, negative 3 halves. So, we just substitute negative 3 halves to the given equation here. Okay, squared plus 2. So, f of negative 3 halves is just 9 over 4 plus 2. We get the LCD. For that, this is 9. 4 divided by 1 is 4 times 2 is 8. So we have 17 over 4 for our f of b. Now we solve for f of a, where a is equal to negative 2. So we just plug in negative 2 here, squared plus 2. So f of negative 2 is just 4 plus 2, and this is just equal to 6. And now we can plug in everything to the formula. So the average should be equal to f of b, which is 17 over 4, minus 6, which is our f of a, over negative 3 halves minus negative 2. Now we can further simplify that. Our average is equal to 17 over 4 minus 6. That would be, okay, 4 divided by 1 is 4 times negative 6 is negative 24 over negative 3 halves plus 2. Okay. Then, 
we have 7 over 4 and negative 3 halves plus 2 is just negative 3 plus 4 over 2 this would become 7 over 4 over 1 half now our average is just equal to 7 over 4 times 2 over 1 so 4 is divisible by 2 so we have we're left with 7 over 2 therefore the average rate of change of this given function or equation here is equal to 7 over 2 Let's solve another problem here. Find the average rate of change of this function f of x equals 3x squared minus x minus 2 on negative 1, 4. So we can use again this formula equals f of b minus f of a over b minus a. So this are, these are the values of a and b here. So f of b is just equal to you plug in the value of b here, which is equal to 4. So that would be 3 times 4 squared minus 4 minus 2. So this is 3 times 16 minus 6. So f of 4 is just equal to 48 minus 6. Therefore, it's just equal to... 42. Now we solve for our f of a, where a is equal to negative 1. So we just plug in the value of x here, which is negative 1 squared minus negative 1 minus 2. So f of negative 1 is just 3 times 1 plus 1 minus 2. This is 3 plus 1 minus 2. Therefore, f of negative 1 is just 4 minus 2, which is equal to 2. And now we can solve for the average rate of change. So the average is just equal to f of b, which is 42, minus f of a, which is 2, over b minus a, which is 4 minus negative 1. So this is 40 over 5. Therefore, the average rate of change is just equal to 40 over 5 or 8.